Skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Up Roller Skates. I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you more about dance skating and a little step I do called a pushback. Now, I have no idea what this step is called. That's just what I call it and what I refer to it as. So if you call it something else, feel free to put it in the comments so everyone knows the various terms, which I consider to be a little bit regional. All right, today's video is brought to you by PigeonSkates.com. You can get everything you need from PigeonSkates.com. Get skates, laces, wheels, bearings, all sorts of accessories, parts, componentry, and all that jazz. Use my discount code. It's uh, D-I-R-T-Y with a big dollar sign. If you put that in at the uh, coupon code entry part in your order, it'll save you a few bucks. All right, skaters, so get your friends, get your skates on, and let's learn how to do a little pushback, all righty? Now understand that this dance step is gonna be the same step this way, then we're gonna turn this way, then we're gonna turn this way, then we're gonna turn this way, and end up back here. So it's super fun to do with your friends, or you can do it solo. This dance step, I super believe in it because of all the benefits, it helps you learning how to skate or getting better at skating. It's a lot about one foot skating. It's a lot about balance and pressure and weight transfer and body posture. It really en encompasses all of that stuff. So it's helpful. So if you try to do this, and because I'm not going to say this thing's easy because it's not easy, and you struggle with learning it or you struggle with practicing it, just understand that that's okay. This is handling so many different skills within skating. It's going to challenge you, okay? By the time you get it and you get it down good, you're going to be like, I just want to do this all the time. All right, let's get started. Now, when I say push back, it's kind of a misnomer because what we're doing is I'll just show you the dance step. How about that? We're going to go to the back, to the back, and then we slide, slide, point and turn to the back, to the back, slide, slide, point and turn to the back, to the back, slide, slide, point and turn to the back, to the back, slide, slide, point and turn. When I say to the back or I say push backs, I'm actually talking about obviously the most obvious part of it. You see my foot go back, right? You see this pushing movement of this going back, but that doesn't happen unless the other foot slides forward, okay? So both knees are bent. I want you to put your weight on your right foot. You're gonna feel that you're, the pressure of your body's on the right foot, but on like an outside edge. So you can feel all the pressure on the outside or on the boot, outside of the boot. That one's gonna anchor us a bit. I'm saying 90% of my weight's here and I got a little bit over here, okay? As I go to do this, as I push back on my front truck of my left leg, my right full skate is pushing forward. So you'll hear me say all the time, left to the back and then right to the back, all right? The foot that's actually on the ground the skate that's on the ground is carrying the most weight, that is actually the most important foot. So what I do is when I think left to the back, I think all my weight's over on to my right skate, vast majority of it. I've taken my center line of balance, I've pushed it over here, it's running right through here, and I'm pressing on my outside edge. Of course, my body posture, we cannot not talk about that. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area tight. In this fun zone, with this, it's got to be down. Not only has it got to be down, it's got to stay down. So we're down like this. So we go one, two, three, and we go to left to the back. Again, your right is shooting forward and your left is shooting back. 
At this point, you might do it and start rolling. You really want to stay stationary though, okay? How you keep from rolling is right foot is going to be on an outside edge. Left foot when we start is going to be pressed more to the inside edge. What you do is you take your left knee and turn it inward. That will cause this back push to not be straight back, which will cause you to roll. So think about it as like four o'clock and eight o'clock. You're just gonna put a little angle on it, but the pressure here is on the foot where the skate is totally on the ground. So let's just do, we'll go five, six, seven, eight. I go left to the back, switch right to the back. Then I go slide, slide, Right foot goes forward and I say point. That means put pressure on the front truck so that your heel comes up off the ground naturally. Point, and that's when we pivot. Excuse me. <laughs> we go slide, slide, point, and pivot. When you point and pivot, you'll notice that put your foot down with the foot in the front, push over so your heel goes up. And when you pivot, your weight is here on this back foot. When you pivot, come up off the heel and get up onto the front truck so both feet can move at the same time, okay? So it's pivot. You might wanna practice this a little bit. Put your right foot in front, pop it over so your heel's up. Get ready on this leg, say one, two, three. Swing your, your behind around, okay? Go boom, boom, da -da. which is pivoting and pivoting and pivoting and pivoting, okay? All right, let's try it from the top. Ready, and I'm gonna go all the way around so you guys can just follow me, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, we go left to the back, right to the back, go slide, slide, point and turn, left to the back, right to the back, slide, slide, point and turn, left to the back, right to the back, slide, slide, point and turn, left to the back, right to the back, slide, slide, slide and turn. All right, skaters, are you getting it? Remember, you're gonna be going in a counterclockwise direction. Hopefully you're doing it with your friends so you guys can get on all on beat together. Okay, now let's talk again about body posture. When I do this sort of dance step, everything is focused from the waist down. The waist up is just a cake party topper, trying to look good, looking around, communicating with other people, but it's not doing big movements up top that can cause you to be out of balance. We're really holding our little snack area here nice and tight, and we stay down. When I stay down like this, in order for me to stay in this position, it's funny, you would just think, well, you just gotta have super strong legs and you gotta have a super strong core and just to stay like this for a long time. I'm telling you, you know what the number one thing is this. If I can keep my chin up, I can keep everything down. Keep that chin up, I can keep it down. This, I don't know why, but the elongation of my neck with my chin up, for some reason makes this possible. I could turn it all downward and act like I didn't want to talk to anybody while I was skating, and I guess this is something you could do. People do it, right? It's your own self-expression. I'm not here to censor you at all. I'm just telling you, if you have problems staying low, keep your chin up up because the second that this part of your body comes down it tells the shoulders let's curl in it pushes this part of your body out and now you're too far forward to make anything happen okay all right let's try it again just do it with me ready i'm gonna go five six seven eight. go left to the back right to the back slide slide point and turn go left to the back right to the back slide slide point and turn left to the back right to the back slide slide point and turn left to the back right to the back slide slide point and turn now I've just noticed that every single time I say point, I'm actually pointing my finger. I don't expect you to do that. It's sort of like I'm like 
pointing to my toe to tell my toe go down like this so the heel comes up. You guys, there's so many fun things about this. It's again, it's simple in its, I wanna say it's simple in that you can remember it. One last thing I have to tell you is that primarily almost through this whole step, you're kind of staying with your weight over your front trucks. You guys, in skating, you have to be able to do this. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snacks tight, hips down. Now, your legs are pretty close together, right? I want you to push your knees in towards each other. Then I want you to put your weight over here so this heel comes up. Put your weight over here so this heel comes up. Heel up, heel up, heel up, heel up, heel up. This is like a lot of different sports, basketball, volleyball, tennis, etc. If you learn how to do this and you're super comfortable with this, I call it bouncing on the ball of your foot, letting your heel come up naturally as a result of putting too much weight here so this one leaves the ground. Doing things like this and expanding upon that makes this all possible. And it also helps you with your general balance, your movement, your agility, etc. All right, skaters. So I really hope you like this because I absolutely love this dance step and I want you to like it too. All righty, skaters. Oh, just, can I just say, we as a channel, you as a viewer, me, Adria, my God, we are creeping up on 200,000 subscribers. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, Click it, hit that notification bell. Let's do this together. I wanna to make more videos. Let me know what you guys need, okay? Alrighty, everyone, I gotta go. So you know what you gotta do, go practice. Yeah.